Ooh, it's cold. I think I'm gonna put that on. It's way too cold in here. I did it, friends. I canceled my flat. And after two years of van build, on and off, and mechanics, and electric stuff, and everything in between, I feel like it's finally time to start my journey. And I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, I am, I am excited, don't get me wrong, but it's very intimidating to cut loose of all the strings I have here and um, of starting this lifestyle that I've been maybe dreaming of for 10 years and never really had the courage to do. So this is pretty intense. So yeah, after two years of build, on and off, the van is ready, finally. Um, the electrics work, the water works, everything works. Um, the only things I'm missing is a toilet and a shower which I know are pretty <laughs> important, but my first trip is gonna be down to my mother in Spain. So I have a house there I can use and it's not gonna be a big deal. And I have some more time to finish uh, the last bits and pieces. And I just really don't feel like postponing my journey even more because of little details, because I feel like a build is something that never really ends. And <laughs> especially this bus is an ongoing journey and I think he will never really be ready. Um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna start finishing a few things that I have to do, like closing the cupboards correctly and securing them in the drawers, because I did a little test drive yesterday and everything was opening, so <laughs> that is a, a minor detail I have to fix, and um, a few other bits and pieces, so I'll try to take you along with me for a few other things, and uh, yeah. Try not to freeze to death. One thing that is super important to mention though is I did not build this van on my own. I don't want it to look like I just did this on my own. Because I didn't. I had a lot of help from a lot of friends, which are very awesome. Um, and maybe I'll, one day I'll tell you more about the journey. Ow! <laughs> more about the journey of how this all happened. But um, yeah, pretty, de pretty important detail, let's say. First thing I'm gonna make today though, is coffee. This, by the way, is also a reason why I'm super sad of leaving, because this place is so cool. My friend has a little garage where he's working on some vans, and um, he has a pretty cool van too, I gotta say. And there's Jalapeno, and yeah, this place is just nice. Ah, uh, it's gonna be sad. Anyway, coffee. So in my test drive, I realized that the drawer is open while I drive, even though I have locks. The thing with the locks is that they go upwards and whenever there is some type of bump, um, they open back <laughs> on their own. So this is not the best solution. I have some other drawers which have these locks sideways and they seem to hold, so I somehow need to put that too. It's all chaos in here, and also, it's very hard to film an event. <laughs> there is no space here. I underestimate it. As for the journey planned, I haven't planned anything. Especially because of the pandemic, it's very hard to know what's gonna happen next, so I don't really want to plan anything. I'm just gonna go one step after another and see what happens. And step number one is to drive down to Malaga where I grew up for 18 years and visit my mother and surprise her for her birthday. 
So that is the only thing I know for sure now. And everything else will just unfold, I guess. Um, <laughs> I have a push to open bin here. That's There's going to be a bin in here. And uh, the idea was not to have to open this with the hands, but <laughs> the push to open only opens a little bit. Mm. Just one more thing in this bus that <laughs> is not optimally working how I imagined. Okay, I made a curtain for Jalapeno yesterday um, for my sliding door because it's the only untinted window I have so I really needed something to cover it and I um, just made a little curtain with this mechanism thing that I don't know what it's called in English but you get me this is also just a temporary solution a lot of things I'm doing right now are temporary solutions because I just need to get down to Spain um, quickly so I'm just trying to fix everything but yeah not not final solutions yet so I put it on and uh, it's enough for what I expected so it's covering everything I just need to find a way to joint these two maybe with some magnets um, so nobody can peek into here but yeah I think it's okay for the ride it'll do its job Yep, moving into the bus is really challenging my organization skills and um, prior, 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 <laughs> priorization, priorization, priorization skills. Um, yeah, I need, really need to figure out where I'm gonna put what. It's also very weird because my clothes are just next to the spices and stuff like that. It's it's a funny feeling. Now I'm about to show you the next special thing about this bus and it's that I'm carrying an extra gas cooker with me not only so I can cook outside in summer but to do coffee because, and hold on to this whenever I try to cook my coffee on here the flame is too big to heat the, the bricka so, and I, I, I love coffee from bricka so I actually have two of them in here and yeah, the flame is too big, so it doesn't heat up the coffee. So this is probably how I will do my coffee every morning now. 